everyone. Welcome back. We are on to March 13th today, right Wayne? Yeah. March 13th? Yeah. So Wayne has been uh, prepping the uh, greenhouse number two for our raised beds. And what we're going to show you today is how exactly we've constructed these raised beds because we've had a lot of questions and um, what we use for um, the soil and uh, the fertilizers we use to prep. So we will get on to that. But first of all, I want to show you the side of the greenhouse. Look at the snow still built up on there. That's uh, quite the snow bank. Okay, so here we go. Okay, just explain to them exactly how they were constructed then, Wayne. Okay, we just got a one by six here. This used to be a garden center, so we really don't didn't have any good soil, so we had no choice but to put boxes in and because because it's on top of the uh, it's gravel I mean. the fabric and we have gravel underneath yeah. so no, there's no fabric under there anymore oh so we've taken the fabric out right oh okay and we brought in compost that we've been saving for a few years and uh, we made these boxes about 28 inches wide and six six inches deep and yeah it's so it's just rough one by six boards that yeah. we used on the sides and then we've lined it on the inside with the fabric that was on the floor yeah. So we just uh, basically every year we just uh, dig out the old bit of the old soil, but it just seems to disappear anyway. So we have to add in the fall of the year. We've added a half a dozen wheelbarrow loads per bed. Uh, you can see the soil is just beautiful. Yeah, you know, it's gorgeous soil. You know, and we only we add stuff every year to it. Some peat moss and Patty could show yeah. you over here. So, so what we have here is um, we have our fish meal. We use that. Um, we use our, I'll take this off, our peat moss. And we also use rock phosphate. I'll just zoom in here so you can see. So that's 030. And we also use uh, tomato and veg. Now we, we buy this in bulk for our beds. Tomato and veg is uh, 437. This stuff is kick butt stuff for your vegetables. So if you can uh, get your hands on some of that, it's uh, through a company called Organique. And um, so also explain to them, oh, and we and the compost underneath, which we mix in. We put that in in the fall and then mix all those. Yeah, we tilled these beds this morning and uh, mixed everything in and ran our drip tape. Okay, so there's our drip tape and the header for the drip tape is at the other end. Which will go in tomorrow. Yeah. So this only took us a couple hours this morning to do all this. So. Just a couple hours? Yeah. And then the plastic. People are yeah. going to ask, I know. So, show you the yeah. back here. Okay, and the drip tape. So, yeah. the drip tape and the plastic come from a company uh, called Dubois out of Quebec. That's where we get ours. We so, put two rows in this year because last year we had one and we just found it wasn't moist enough some, in spots. Yeah. So, this way we put two in. That way it'll compensate yeah, for we'll this. Yeah, make sure we have a nice moist bed. Yeah. So what they do is, um, this is something we did. Okay, I'm going to just show them here. So this, I call it scabbing. I don't know what they call it. So this is how they, on e either side, they will put a piece of, I don't know if you can see here. i got to straddle this. A piece on either side, but they stapled it. And it's just cardboard. Um, previous years we used um, plywood or or blocks of wood and screwed it in. This way here we don't have to worry about unscrewing in the fall when we do uh, clean up so it makes it much easier. So it's just stapled on cardboard and uh, so they're just gonna, Wayne left this part bare for me so I could explain or he could explain exactly what we do. So yeah that's nice. So we're gonna start planting when? In about 10 days. 10 days. Yeah. So all the tomatoes that you um, you saw us plant, when did we plant them? Two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, they're going to be moved in here. We have our uh, propane tanks are topped up. And uh, we're going to move in here, move them into here, and start transplanting. So I hope that helped. Um, if you have any other questions, just uh, let us know. And, uh, or ask away. And we will uh, keep you updated. So our next video that we're going to do is... Um, we were tagged uh, from three different wonderful farms, um, YouTubers, and we are going to do that tag video next. So within the next couple days, we'll get that one done. So anyhow, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, it's a quick video, but 
people wanted to see. So anything else you want to say? Well, just other than that, tomato and veg, it also comes in liquid. Oh, yeah, the tomato and veg. Summer. Yeah, we use a liquid uh, tomato and veg in our fields. And in here, in with our injector system. So the injector system I can explain in another video once we get it all hooked up. And uh, is that it? That's it. So good job in here, hon. So five beds ready to go. And uh, we'll bring you in when we're ready to transplant. And something else I wanted to mention was... Um, Ethan is on March break right now, so he is helping too, and I forgot to mention him up in greenhouse number two. He did help Wayne um, uh, clean up the greenhouse and lay the drip tape and the, uh, the plastic on the beds. So I'm gonna go down to greenhouse number four and see what he's up to down there. Oops. So how's it going? It's going good. Is it? Yeah. You working hard? Good, look at all the stuff you're getting out of here. Let's go ahead and see what you've done. I wonder where all the junk comes from. Wow. So this is what greenhouse number two looked like at one point. Except uh, they've taken out all the plastic and stuff. So they're going to get these beds all prepped and uh, do the same thing with the uh, peat moss fish meal and uh, tomato veg and the rock phosphate. Then lay the drip tape and the plastic. So. This is all going to be cucumbers and shit. Cucumbers, the whole thing? Yep. So last year we had the uh, cherry tomatoes in here and peppers, and it's just going to be cucumbers this year, Wayne said. So, And again, look at the snow piled up. But uh, anyhow, oh, there you are. Burp. Number three is the same thing. Yeah, number three is the same. We're going to get it ready tomorrow. So we don't have... Um, we don't have the plastic lifted in greenhouse number three, though. Yep. Oh, it's all lifted? Yeah, it's all lifted. Just okay. a bunch of junk to get out of there. And okay. And then it'll be tilled up and ready to go, so. And it'll just be peppers and the eggplant in there. Yeah. So this is uh, an exciting time of year, always, once we get going and uh, get planting. Especially because Ethan's working I for us I know. Ethan yeah. is working full-time for us full this time. summer. Yeah. Full time. For that Mustang. Yeah, Ethan's <laughs> going to buy a Mustang. Ethan also has a vlo uh, vlogging channel, so he's a daily vlogger. Um, I'll put his link at the end of this, uh, this video. So you'll have to go check him out and you'll see what all the uh, behind the scenes that go on yeah. uh, when we're not farming. So anyhow, say bye. Bye. See, have have a good day, guys.